Hi everybody, we'd like to welcome you to the 2011 Bracket Show brought to you by Panther Sports Network. We might be a pit organization, but we swear we're not biased in our picks. Uh, I'm your host, Adam Brody. Uh, over to my left, we have Lucy, he'll be doing the East Bracket. We have Brian, he'll be doing the West Bracket. Over on my right, we have Steven, he'll be doing the Southeast Bracket. And Simrath, he'll be breaking down the Southwest Bracket. To start off, Lucy will be doing the East Bracket. She'll be telling you who's going to win each of the first round games, and she'll be picking a winner for the bracket and a sleeper team in the bracket. Lucy? All right, so for the East, the first matchup between George Mason and Villanova, I think George Mason's going to pull it out because they're an experienced shooting team, and Villanova's pretty weak this year. Next, Ohio State. They're a veteran team. They're playing better than anyone else is right now. They're definitely going to defeat San Antonio. Um, Syracuse, their athletic 2-3 zone, they're going to defeat Larry Bird's alma mater. Um, North Carolina, Blackbirds, I think North Carolina, they excel all across the board and they will take down the Blackbirds. Next, the SEC, SEC champs, um, Kentucky, they will definitely run over Princeton defensively. Washington, they'll be led by Isaiah Thomas to a very easy win over Georgia, I think. Next, although West Virginia has Beaten seven of the teams who are playing in the big dance, I think that Clemson is going to beat them because West Virginia is not the same team as they were last year. Um, finally, I think Marquette is a really tough team and they're going to fight to the end to upset Holloway and Xavier. It'll be a really close game, I think. Uh, for my sleeper, I have Marquette actually. I'm all about Marquette this year and I think they're already prepared by the Big East. And if they're going strong offensively, they cannot be stopped. So don't forget that they did beat Syracuse and that they were the leading scorers in the Big East. Yeah, for the West bracket, uh, looking at this bracket, I really think there's only two teams that can possibly make it to the Final Four, and I think that's either Duke or Texas. So that being said, uh, Duke over Hampton in the first round for obvious reasons. Then the 8-9 matchup, I'm going to take Tennessee over Michigan. I don't think Michigan can match up with the Volunteers inside. Uh, the 5-12, Arizona-Memphis, uh, neither of these teams are really that good. I'm not sold on Arizona as a 5 seed, uh, but Derek Williams is a monster, and he should give Memphis a lot of fits inside. Uh, the 4, I have Texas over Oakland. Oakland's feisty, but Texas just too much talent. Uh, in the lower half of the bracket, I'm not really all that impressed uh, with the teams down there. San Diego State, the two seed, shouldn't have any trouble in the first round with Northern Colorado. Uh, and when they win, they'll move on to face uh, the winner of the 7-10 matchup, which is Temple-Penn State. I think Penn State might actually win that game, which is crazy to say as a Pitt fan. Who would have thought they'd be in the NCAA tournament and actually win a game? But I think they'll out-tough Temple in that one. Uh, then the 6-11, I have Missouri over Cincinnati. No Big East bias here. I just think Missouri is one of those teams that no one really believes in them. They were ranked highly to start the season. Maybe they'll get things going. Uh, in the 3-14, I have UConn over Bucknell, but I do think it'll be close. I think Kemba Walker will be held in check a little bit, but eventually he'll be able to will them into the second round. My sleeper is also an 11 seed from a power conference. I think Missouri is not only going to win in the first round upsetting Cincinnati, but I think they'll even beat UConn in the second round and make it to the Sweet 16. And coming out of this bracket, I have the Blue Devils. I think they're the most complete team in the region. For the Southeast region, we all know that Pitt's in that region. I think they'll easily make it to the Final Four by um, first beating UNC Asheville. And then I think they're going to beat Butler in the second round. Um, I think that's going to be pretty easy for them. Um, for the other picks in the first round, I'm picking number 12, Utah State, over Kansas State. Um, I think Utah State is doing really well right now, and I think they'll be too much for Kansas State. Um, in the 4-13, I like Wisconsin. I think they're also a really good team. I don't think they'll have a problem against them. Um, my sleeper team actually comes from the 6-11 matchup at St. John's. I think they'll actually not only win their first game, I think they'll actually make it to the Elite Eight and play Pitt for the chance at the Final Four. But um, like I said before, I think Pitt will get their vengeance on St. John's, and I think they'll make it to the Final Four. Um, for the rest of the picks, I have um, number three, BYU. Um, they're just too much to handle. They're a really good team. I don't see anyone getting in their way in the first few rounds. Another up upset I have, I have number 10, Michigan State, over... Who are they playing? 
Number UCLA. Seven. UCLA. Yeah, I have Michigan number ten, Michigan State over number seven, UCLA. And um, no surprise at the two fifteen, I have Florida winning that game. All right, as with the uh, Southwest region, I have Kansas in a shocker over Boston University. Um, I like UNLV to beat the uh, iffy Illinois team that's disappointed all year. I think Richmond can pull off the upset over um, who is it? Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt in the first round. Vanderbilt always seems to lose to all these low seeds every year. I like Louisville, which is actually kind of my sleeper teams in terms of making the Final Four. I think they can make a serious push, give Kansas who fits in the Sweet 16 if they get there. I like them to take down Moorhead State easily. I like Georgetown with Chris Wright to beat the winner of the v VCU-USC game. I think, although I think Georgetown is still very shaky. I like Purdue to win their first round game. I like Florida State to uh, take down Texas A&M, and then if you want to call it a 10-7 upset. And I like Notre Dame to win their first round game as well. Um, the winner of this region I see actually is Notre Dame. I think Kansas will survive Louisville. The sleeper team I just said will be a close game. And I think Notre Dame matches up well. Ben Hansrow is a guy everybody talks about, but Abramitis is also a great player. Average over 15 points this year. I think overall they're a very balanced team. I like Notre Dame to uh, upend Kansas there uh, and win the Southwest region. Well, now that our expert analysts have taken you through each of the regions, we're going to go through and give you our own personal Final Fours so we can compare them at the end of the year and come back and laugh at ourselves because none of us are going to get these completely right. Uh, we'll start with Brian and then work our way down this way. <clears throat> yeah, so starting with the East, uh, I really think it could be any of the top three teams in that region, Ohio State, UNC, or Syracuse. But I do think Ohio State's going to find a way to make it out of that region. They're a complete team. They have shooters. They have inside guys. Uh, they have Aaron Kraft, a point guard who's only a freshman but can run the show. So Ohio State wins that region in a close one in the Elite Eight against either, either UNC or Syracuse. Uh, and then in the West region, which I already said, I think Duke. Uh, the, I think the winner of the Duke-Texas game in the Sweet 16 is going to win that region. I just think this might be the Blue Devils' year again, uh, the defending national champs. Moving over to the Southwest region on the other side. Uh, I don't think anyone can stop Kansas in that region. I think they're by far the most talented team. So I think they have pretty much a cakewalk to the Final Four. And then in the Southeast region, which features our very own Pitt Panthers, I think any number of teams could win it out of that one. Any of the first five teams, Pitt, Florida, BYU, Wisconsin, Kansas State. So I'm just going to go with a hunch here and say that the Brigham Young Cougars make the Final Four out of that region. I think they catch fire, take down our Panthers in the Elite Eight. No bias here. I, I just have a feeling that the Panthers aren't going to be able to get over the hump this year as much as I wish they would. So my final four, Ohio State, Duke, Kansas, BYU, and I have Duke over Kansas in the finals. All right, coming out of the East, I definitely have the Ohio State Buckeyes. They have such an impressive resume, and I think that if they have their defense as consistent as they're shooting, they'll be good to go. Um, coming out of the... Southeast, I do have Pittsburgh. I think they've been working hard. You know, they're the Big East champions in my heart still. If they didn't win, I think they're the best team in the Big East. They'll make it to the Final Four. Um, for the West, yeah, I have, you know, it's up between UConn and San Diego State for me. So I think I'm going to go with San Diego State. And for the final, I have Purdue. I think Purdue's going to come out and shock a lot of people. For my final four from the East, I'm also taking the Buckeyes. Um, no surprise there. Um, I just think they're such an incredible team. I do think they will get a scare from Xavier in the Elite Eight, but I still see Ohio State making it to the final four. Um, for the West, I'm, I'm sold with UConn. I think they can make it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kemba, Kemba Walker, yeah, we all know he's great, but I think he's just amazing, even better than we think he is. I mean, during that stretch in the Big East tournament, he had 111 points in four games. You can't beat that. I don't think any defense will be able to control him. I think UConn will make it to the Final Four. As for the West, um, I think Notre Dame is going to come out of that region in the Final Four. They've just been playing extremely well. They're on a roll. Um, I think they'll make it there. And finally, in the Southeast, I think Pitt's going to make it. I think this is their year. You know, we're a number one seed. This is our best chance. We don't have too rough of a schedule. So um, I think Pitt's going to make it as well. And uh, my winner, I have UConn beating Pitt in the final. And um, I know that'd be a chance for Pitt to get our revenge, but we're not going to get it this time. Well, in the Southwest region to start, like I said, I like Notre Dame. I think there's lots of experience there, a well-balanced team. I think they were the best team, the biggest over the regular season. 
like them to take down Kansas, who has a lot of talent, but for much of the year they didn't really beat anybody and look like they're that great. In the uh, southeast region, I think anybody could win it, like we've been saying. Pitt, they have a habit of choking in big games whenever they have to do it. I think they'll do it again this time to Kansas State in the Sweet 16, who I like to go to the Final Four. I think Jacob Pullen, his last stand here, great, great player. Overall, Kansas State has been playing really well of late towards the end of the year. They blew out Kansas. They won at Texas. I think they're a good sleeper team here, but anybody really could do this. Florida, even BYU, even Utah State, Belmont, anybody really. Um, I like Ohio State to come out of their region as well. I think by, they're by far the best team in the league. They have so many great guards, and then, of course, the, they have the big Jared in the middle. Um, I think out of the uh, West region, I like Duke. Now with Kyrie Irving back, I think that changes everything. Before, Duke for most of the year had been a good but not great team. I think Irving allows them to potentially be great and contend with Ohio State if they meet later on in the Final Four. I think they'll easily win their region. And for those of you that are curious, I also have a personal Final Four. I have Ohio State, no surprise there, San Diego State, um, and then in the Southeast and Southwest regions, I have Notre Dame and Pitt playing each other in the Final Four. Uh, I have Pitt finally beating Notre Dame and then making it the championship game and losing to Ohio State. Uh, I really don't think that would be a surprise to anybody if Ohio State won it all. Uh, thanks for watching. Come back next week where we'll break down the Sweet 16 and the Elite Eight. And uh, see you then.